Hello and welcome back to Resident Evil HD Remaster, where today we need Becky to finish practicing the Moonlight Sonata. So we're actually going to take a little trip on over to the upper eastern part of the mansion. Because that spot with the three rooms together up in the north there with one locked door. If memory serves, that door was a, a lockpick lock for Jill, which means it'll be an old key lock for Chris. So I've gotten some stuff out of our box, and we're going to head over there. And hopefully, we will have it be an old key lock so that we can just get rid of a key. Though getting rid of old keys isn't exactly a goal, because there's multiple of them, and they're only single-use things. It's not like getting rid of the armor key, where you get a multiple door key out of your inventory for good. What I'm trying to say is that it's not worth it to use old keys just to use old keys, but rather to get to areas that you otherwise couldn't. Which is why we didn't use one in that one area with the death mask in the graveyard. Because that just would have been a waste of an old key. And after all, we've only got one right now, so we want to actually have it for use opening doors that we otherwise couldn't open. So we got to... Yep. Didn't manage to go around this guy. No, stop with the biting. I don't need three bites. I hate three bites. It's like the worst number of bites. Oh, good. We managed to go around that one. And I feel like I haven't said it in a few episodes, but I am still in that recording session where I had said that I was going to record as much as I could to get ahead of this sickness so that I wouldn't have to record while being sick. And I do like red herbs. So yeah, sniffles will probably happen. Do forgive them if you can find it in your heart. Right, it's the other door that was locked. So let's see if we can unlock it first, and then we'll come back in here. Yeah, basically, until I say otherwise, we'll still be in this recording session. So, just keep that in mind, I guess. And yeah, we were able to unlock this. That's good. So now we can get this lure of a bee. No. We can also grab a hook. We can check out the researcher's will. There's a letter. Um, hang on. Is it torn? No, it's not torn. So Jill doesn't get the whole thing, but Chris does. June 3rd, 1998. My dearest Alma, let me first apologize for not being able to call you. A man wearing sunglasses didn't permit any phone calls. Sorry, Alma. What do you want to bet that's Wesker? I sit here trying to think of where to begin, of how to explain in a few simple words all that's happened in my life since we last spoke, and already I fail. I hope this letter finds you well and that you'll forgive the tangents of my pen. This isn't easy for me. Even as I write, I can feel the simplest of concepts slipping away, lost to feelings of despair and confusion. But I have to tell you what's in my heart before I can rest. Alma, please believe that what I'm telling you is the truth. The entire story would take hours for me to tell you, and time is short, so accept these things as fact. Last month there was an accident in the lab and the virus we were studying leaked. All my colleagues who were infected are dead or dying, and the nature of the disease is such that those still living have lost their senses. This virus robs its victims of their humanity, forcing them in their sickness to seek out and destroy life. Even as I write these words, I can hear them, 
pressing against my door like mindless, hungry animals. Alma, I have tried to survive only to see you again, but my efforts only delayed the inevitable. I am infected, and there is no cure for what will follow, except to end my life before I lose the only thing that separates me from them. My love for you. In an hour I'll have entered my eternal sleep where there is peace. Please understand. Please know that I'm sorry. Martin Crackhorn. Actually, I feel like that's something we didn't get to see any of in my Jill playthrough. Maybe I just missed it. But let's... Oh, right. Gotta... Gotta combine the hook with the lure. So we'll put that there. And then we'll put that there. Then we'll press the button. Oh no, it's a bee. And now we get this. And now we get out. Yeah, we're still just a caution. So now we can grab this. Right, gotta open it from the top, not from the latch. And I feel like we can go ahead and just use that right now. First aid sprays are less valuable than red-green mixes because you can't add blues to first aid meds. Or first aid sprays, rather. Oh. Well, I guess we know where there's another green herb for us. And another set of ink ribbons, but our inventory's full. So, here they stay for now. So perhaps by now, Becky will be done practicing. That's the hope. Hook the inside to get past him. And then, apparently there's no way to get past this one. And that was just two bites. Seriously, what controls the number of bites? Is it my mashing, or is it just arbitrary? Right, if we go downstairs first, that's the more efficient way to get there. We don't need the more efficient way to get there. We need inventory space. Well, we can... We can find our way to some inventory space without too much trouble. We're actually going to need two spaces in our inventory. Don't mind me, sir. Just coming through this door that you clearly want to beat down. I wish I knew a way to reliably get past this particular chap. Because it seems he is a triple biter. bites more than I appreciate. Actually, it's three bites more, but who's counting? Okay. 
Okay, so let's go ahead and trade this for a first aid spray. And we'll shove that in there and that right there. And we'll use that first aid spray because danger. Really shouldn't have gone through that way. Once I realized where I or how much inventory space I needed, I should have just turned around. I really need to stop going through dangerous hallways when I know I don't need to. Just because it's faster doesn't mean it's better. Because this ain't no speed run, this is just a run. So let's grab this, because we're going to need it. Yep, that wasn't the right door. Good. Practice makes perfect. What's this? Emblem. Tiger eyes and gold emblem, blah, blah. Have we? I don't feel like I've read this before. So let's read it. November 24th, 1967. Eleven days have passed since arriving on this estate. How did I end up like this? A guy in a lab coat brought me a meager plate of food and said, Sorry to put you through this, but it's for security reasons. That's when it hit me. It all makes sense now. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I've read this. Yep. Though... I don't recall it continuing. How could I be so careless? I lost my favorite lighter, the one Jessica gave me for my birthday. Now it's going to be that much harder to escape this dark place. November 13th, the date when my fate was sealed. My aunt was hospitalized just three days before that. Jessica and Lisa said they were going to go visit her. Going to visit her. I wish I could be there with them. But wait, even as I'm writing, my memory is coming back to me more vividly. Just before I passed out, I remember the men in lab coats said something like, most likely your family is already... No, I've read this before, too. Okay. Yeah, sure. Tiger eyes, gold emblem. Got it. Were you all right in there? Yeah. Yeah, it just closed and then opened seconds later.
Like, seriously. Seconds later. And we'll let him continue rattling at that door. Because we gotta put this here. Okay, long sword through head, short sword through chest. Got it. Right, small gear goes to big one. Why? Oh. Well, let's get this one right back to where it needs to be. So the real question, does that clock work normally? And if so, does it move to the side at 6 p.m. or 6 a.m. or just 6 o'clock every 6 o'clock? That would be inconvenient. Not the best hiding place if that's so. And I think we're going to go ahead and grab this gem now just to get it dealt with. Plus, I think we get some extra shotgun ammo for it and we're going to want shotgun ammo. Considering a shotgun is currently our strongest weapon and we're about to fight Yawn. So, let's go ahead and go through this door. Then we'll place the blue gem where it needs to go. Excuse me, sir. So, blue and yellow light, right? Yeah. Yellow and blue eyes. Again, we can actually read the inscription. That's not what it says. Stop lying to me, game. Also, is it biting Chris's left arm? Yep, we do get some shotgun ammo for it. Excuse me, sir. And now we should never have to go through there again. Now here's the question. How do we want to get to a save room. Well, I guess this is the save room, and this is the closest one to where we fight Yon, but we don't have any healing items right now. So, let's... let's go to the western one. It's safer to get there. There's no clear path for us to get to the eastern one. Which means that unlike in Jill's game, where the eastern one was my favorite, in this case, the western one will be far more frequented.
Because, yeah, I just want to get some healing supplies so that we can go fight Yawn on even footing. Oh, wait. It's a... Uh, okay, yeah, that is the shield key. It's a shield door, so... Needed to make sure that it was, in fact, the shield key and not the helmet key. And actually... Let's grab the ink ribbons out of here. Just so that we never feel the temptation to come back again. Hopefully that'll be enough ink ribbons to last us the rest of the game. equipped with all sorts of medical supplies. I could pretty much treat any wound. Want me to treat your wounds? Uh, I think I'm okay right now. No, I'm okay. But if something should happen to me, I'm counting on you. No problem. But we're very short on medical supplies, so take care of yourself. Yeah, maybe say that before offering to treat wounds. Because otherwise, a guy might just take you up on it. Okay, so we like healing supplies more than ink ribbons, but let's actually use an ink ribbon first because we are about to fight a boss. I'd rather use it from the lower floor of the dining hall because it's closer to the... Nope, not that file. Because it's closer to where we actually fight the boss. But considering this way, I can bring more healing items it's probably better. Though admittedly it'd be better still if I didn't end up using the healing items. So now we make our way to a snake. And it's not just an ordinary snake. Of course, it's one we're already familiar with. What with having gone through Jill's campaign already? You gotta be a three biter. Right before yawn, too. Well, this room should be clear of zombies. And the next room as well. So, what we can do. Well, no, we shouldn't do that. I was gonna say we could get rid of our shield key by unlocking the door, then come back for that one green herb and use it. But it's better if we don't use it beforehand, because we might not need it. So yeah, let's go fight Yon. Should take a little longer since we don't have a grenade launcher. Serum. 
Are we done? Looks like we're done. Or not? Or yes. Yes, we are. Because the music stopped, so. He just had to take his sweet time to get out, I guess. Just hang in there. You remember seeing it. You literally administered it to him. Or to Richard. Like, sure, Chris went and got it, but it was like, oh, I forgot to bring it with me. Like, come on, Becky. Also, we get to play as Becky. And she's got a first aid spray. There's no reason for us to not use Becky's ammo here. And getting rid of that guy at least makes it so that we won't have to deal with him again in the near future. Plus, the rest of Becky's path is totally safe, so. Yeah. It's nice that you can make well-traveled paths safe. At least until later on when the hunters get released. Hey, Richard. Oh, so we're not allowed to put Becky's first aid spray in there? Would have been nice if we could. Also, it would have been nice if Richard recovered faster from his snake bite, like he did for Jill. But I guess he just doesn't like Chris that much. Yeah, if you don't get bitten by Yawn, you get to skip this segment, which is certainly much faster. But, I mean, hey, this way we get to see it. I mean, you've definitely never seen me go on a serum run in this series before. I mean, at least us going on a serum run as Becky is slightly different. But since I played Resident Evil Zero before this, then, I mean, we've also seen me play as Becky. Just not in this particular circumstance. by a poisonous snake and fell unconscious. E easy. Uh, uh, oh, my head's killing me. You should be fine, because I gave you a shot of serum. But again, don't do anything... That you wouldn't do? I'll try to remember that. I owe you one. God, I made it in time. There wasn't really much risk. <laughs> I 
And hey, we're fine. So let's go ahead and grab this. Because we might need it very soon. And it's a good thing Chris recovered faster than Richard did. Because Richard still hasn't. And Chris still has quite a lot of stuff to do. Like going to fight the Crimson Head Elder. Who, again, will probably take a bit longer than he did for Jill because... Chris hasn't got a grenade launcher. And hey, the zombies here are gone. They didn't kill them. They must have just up and left. Oh, there's some shotgun shells on the floor. I want them, but this cutscene has interrupted it, or interrupted my attempt to get them. Well, if we don't have enough shots to kill this guy right now, then we'll grab more. But it looks like we had enough. And of course I want the stone and metal object that is the best kind of object. Why is that even an option? And apparently it's a separate trophy to get one as Chris than it is for Jill? That's odd. Seriously, stone and metal. What object could possibly be better than that? I'll tell you what object. No object. And so let's head to the eastern save room because that's the closest one to where we use the stone and metal object. And hey, maybe Wesker will have fixed the door. Excuse me, sir. Can you, can you stop? Can you stop maybe? There we go. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and use that. Okay, managed to get him to try and grab us and fail, which is the best way to get past a zombie. If it fails to grab you once, then you've got a window where you can just run right on by. So let's pop in here. It'd be nice if Wesker fixed the doorknob, but I don't think he does that. And we're going to want the wind crest. Uh, we can probably leave the shotgun ammo here. And ink ribbons. Going to want those just for my own purposes right now because it's time to end the episode. So I'm going to go ahead and save. And that is going to be it for this episode. Join us next time when we head outside the mansion. See you then, friends. <laughs>